This is fucking weird. I see myself uh, in the camp, even though there are like only three or four lights nearby. Usually it should be very, very dark. Uh, yeah. If I ever get out of this router option of my phone, I should look for a smartphone that has like uh, this night compatibility mode, you know? Where picture aren't pitch black. Yeah. Uh, today I had school, schooling in Munich and uh, met an old buddy. Oh yeah, now I remember. He gave me a smoke. Uh, very chill of him. He also gave me like tobacco. Uh, I'm not really a smoker, but yo, if I get tobacco, what else should I do? Then uh, there is like, when I was driving on the highway, the highway, in Germany it's on the low ground, therefore, this is a really stupid term, man, everything's the highway, where you drive fast, you know? And, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I thought about, uh, uh, like these luxury cars everyone is driving but nobody's able to use the blinking lights how about we remove the blinking lights you have to pay an extra fine in order to use them in order to get them installed otherwise you just can't use them and uh, without them you can't just drive you know and you should make an extra driver's license for turning lights and uh, car distance this should be extra thing you know because a lot of people can't just simply do that shit. And also, also, I also thought about, uh, you know, going on the highway, like, I know, what is it? 100 miles per hour or something. No, 80, 80 miles per hour. And uh, it should be approximately about 120 kilometers. Yeah, and the, like, <laughs> when, when you wanna turn left or right, like there's an automatic system in there installed like you want to turn your <laughs> steering wheel to the left or to the right uh do you conform this action please say yes or no or you have to type in yes or no you know press a button then afterwards uh registration completed or registered input you are now able to turn your steering wheel and otherwise you just can't drive straight forward you know <laughs> like this would be this would be the other kind of bad and stupid and i'd say you should implement that stupid shit because it would really boom it would really improve the performance of a lot of drivers out there and maybe even save some lives you know if you have like this retardo system telling you that you're retarded all the time you know very subtle you have to ask for basic shit and then you realize you come to realize hey maybe this wouldn't have happened but i was one of the few people like it's uh, it's the same thing like let's say a woman gets raped it's daylight you know nobody says something something nobody does something and uh yeah not cool yo but i also won't be the hero but there is like now nah, let's make it more subtle if somebody steals something you know and you see him uh, what i've learned about my arguments is like i like to overstep it and real arguments are closer to real scenarios that happen more frequently and stealing basic shit from a supermarket is way more common i'd say like a lot of people steal you know and uh what if you saw somebody stealing now the honest thing would be that you go like to store front manager and tell them yo somebody stole something but in reality everybody everybody is like yeah no i'm not a snitch why should i do that yeah that's why uh the same thing applies with driving oh he's an asshole so basically i can behave like an asshole you know i'm almost at this mental point this mental breaking point of torture like these assholes cutting in line of me like really really close up and then i'm honking my horn but what you really should do in order to take effect is like just uh, pedal to the metal you know like just push that shit through 
like totally crash maybe you die maybe the person in front of you dies but if the person whatever the funny thing is like in such an accident like you are harmed the person who you know cut you in line let me get my gloves on because it's once again fucking freezing i love these angles to be honest really enjoy those angles um yeah a lot of times you know, let's say such a crash would happen uh the person is just under such tremendous shock uh the person wouldn't even realize why did you hit this person you know why why me you know it's always this basic shit like everyone seven point billion people why me why out of all the people and everyone is asking this fucking question as soon as they can uh add up two english words or basically any word in any language i'd say in a lot of languages this should be possible to express why me as soon as this as your brain is capable of forming this sentence uh yeah you automatically think the world is against you i know i had like a face where i was also like yeah it's raining because of me sometime i say this in a uh, sarcastic tone sometimes in a serious undertone but the fact is it has to happen to somebody somebody has to you know bleed for this and this is part of uh, moving forward with basic shit you know live with the shit that happens to you you know uh, yeah uh, it's not that freezing but somehow very freezing kind of hard to describe uh, yesterday i saw it snow a little but the snow kind of melted away on the window so there is that but i don't feel like uh, clearing out the snow on the street you know i don't know what the laws are in the us or england i know <laughs> there's this funny picture man like uh, some some uh, free organization acting like the police or something and <laughs> they they are like confiscating shit there is like uh, holy shit i thought this was like an animal it's gonna get me fucking paranoia and uh, there's like some some bikers you know they had like a spare wheel and some spare uh, tools and whatnot and some bikers got their biking equipment and tools confiscated and like <laughs> this was a screenshot of these uh, free organization you know uh, capturing the these criminals quote unquote and li <laughs> like uh, we caught we caught these criminals uh, uh, carrying these guns with themselves and one person wrote <laughs> like sarcastically like thanks like one <laughs> the spare tire man <laughs> thanks guys you're doing the lord's work out there i've lost I've lost a family member to <laughs> to a bike wheel <laughs> and they're like responding thank you very much we're doing our best <laughs> <It's just> like, <laughs> I don't care for this if this is an elaborated joke there are people out there like this this makes it funny <laughs> oh my god it's the same thing you know this is what I'm hearing so far like the uk has a lot of great or had a lot of great musicians but the situation is really fucked up like if you have a butter knife you need your butter knife license <laughs> i hope this isn't a true i hope this isn't a meme you know oh nice there is this one dog so if i take this other route this other dog will fucking shout at me for like 10 minutes straight so uh Basically, there's no real way avoiding this except when I take a left and then a right. Yeah, I'm kind of going reverse in these 15 months. I've never taken a reverse workaround. So, going these courses back is kind of amazing. Also, uh, a buddy of mine got himself. It seems kind of uh, cyberpunk and some glitches occurred on his side and uh, yeah let's see how far 
how fast they will fix this. But uh, <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous to expect a working game at this kind of state. You know, shit takes time. And a lot of games developed today are like really fast. Like, this is basic money making scheme, laundry machine. There's no real effort put in. There's also no debugging, you know. And when you compare it to other old games, there's a lot of people tested those games, you know, for a lot of variances. Today feels like uh, a game tester is over the budget, always. And this shouldn't be the case. And this sounds kind of harsh, but I think we should kind of stop consuming and purchasing games for a little while. The market might crash, but the consumer uh, itself as a mess has come out and say, yo, we don't take that shit. We have certain quality rules. You have to follow them. If you don't follow them, that's n um, then it's not a game. Now, a lot of indie underground games might suffer from this, but on the other hand, you have games that would work except let's say for the course that uh, a certain black market appears where game studios tell you yeah we had game testers and all that shit but in reality they just had like a scarecrow put in front of a computer and wrote it down as a person you know trying to find and fix bugs but this is a s certainly an issue that will appear for a long period of time I'd say there's no way around that except with fixing this shit on your own but who does that you know this is like kind of kind of always made me wonder over the years why so many programmers like writing cracks or patches or like configurations for a gamepad and then it hit me and they're doing this shit for free not because they're like the self selfish less you know not because they're so benevolent it's because uh, uh, when you put out something like a game controller file you know like a file that automatically for Android let's say PS2 emulator and it's an Android configuration file for your controller and you have to download it basically and it auto configurates your Xbox 360 or Xbox One Series X, 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 X Series. Uh, yeah. And your... The people downloading your files are basically trusting you on one hand that it's not a virus. Trust me, I'm no... I'm, the, I'm a dolphin, not a virus. You can totally trust me. And on the other hand, like, they're your guinea pigs in order to see what will happen to their smartphone or device. Will it crash? Or will it just run? Uh, will certain areas of the code crash or not and uh, yeah so the basic idea is that you act it it might feel like these people are like helping you but um this is a very interesting thing like the same thing applies with a lot of let's say musicians or tv directors and whatnot as far as i've heard like you offer your services for free but then at a certain time you say, guys, like I've done shit for you for free. How about, uh, how about, how about you offer me some money? And uh, yeah, if not, then it's goodbye then. And uh, sometimes uh, you kinda, your, your plan is to make them addicted of your shit, you know? Making them addicted of your code or your music and uh, I'd say this is the real kind of success, which might last very long, which you don't see too often nowadays. Now, like a lot of supermarkets, they're acting like the minimum requirements are fulfilled. But are they really putting enough effort? I know if I would, in my next life, I might become like a CEO of a big brand uh, supermarket line and here's the thing my employees would kind of love me and uh, my customers would 
and uh, I kind of I know a lot of companies do this but uh, like a live chat you know like you can always write with the CEO even though it might be a bot but the bot says yo uh, I'm transferring and I'm transferring these messages to my boss and later on you fix it or correct it uh, this would be a big step a lot of chats are like yeah sure let me connect you to uh, one of our employees and then it's like yeah now nah, nobody's reachable which makes the chat fucking useless it gives you a placebo effect or feel that the site uh, cares about you or that it is interactive which it is not yeah that's it for today huh. <laughs>